Okay, this one you have to pay attention to. Suppose a B field is like this, but a velocity, this is a positive Q, a velocity is out of it, so V is in the positive Z direction for this case. So the velocity vector is coming straight up, and the B field is going to the left. Now, for this case, you put your hand in the direction of V, which is its really tough to do, but it's like this, right? V is going up. And then you want to rotate your palm. This is a hard thing to do, but you can do it in the direction of B. So B, <laughs> B is going in this direction here, right? And, you're, and your fingers are pointing up towards the ceiling in the direction of V. When you do that, your thumb points in the positive Y direction. So for that case here, the magnetic force is in the positive y direction. Now, what about current? Current's the same thing as a positive charge. So instead of a positive charge moving at some velocity, you have a current moving at some direction. It's the same thing, though. You do the same thing for current as you were to do for a charge moving in some direction, a positive charge moving in some direction. There is no negative current. It's just positive current all the time you're going to be doing. So we'll just do a couple examples because it's basically the same thing as a positive charge uh, moving at some velocity. So in other words, suppose you have, I'll just do uh, two or three of these. We don't have to do a lot of them. Uh, so suppose you have a current, right? Uh, current is in a wire, so it shows a wire, and the current is like that. This is the direction of the current, um, positive x, and the uh, B field is negative uh, w negative y. So instead of so now you point your fingers in the direction of the current, not the charge, not the velocity, in the direction of the current. Right, which is to the right, or in the positive x, and you rotate your hand in the direction of the B field, just like this. When you do this, your thumb points down into the page, and therefore um, FB is negative Z direction for this case. So it's the same thing as if a charge was moving to the right, a positive charge is moving to the right. No different. Now, Let's just do a couple more, just so you understand. Um, suppose you have a uh, this wire. This is a wire. You have a current going like this, and you have a B field. That's I should have drawn the B field first, but anyhow, the B field is in the negative Z direction. All these are the Y X plane. In case I forget to draw the axes, these are all Y X plane. So once again, you rotate your hand, oops, I keep on hitting the tripod. You, you rotate your hand in the direction of I, which is incredibly hard to do. Um, okay, and then your palm points in the direction of B. Well, B is down, so if you just do this, your palm is already in the right direction. And if you, when you really contort your hand to do this, your thumb points down in the negative Y direction. I mean, sometimes they interchange down by negative Z or negative Y, but I mean, for this case here, down is towards you or in the negative y direction. Alright, let's do one more example of current and then we'll go on to the other cases here. Okay, so suppose you have a uh, current going, say, in the positive y direction. Oh, let me draw the field first. So suppose b is positive. And uh, you have current, say, going in the positive y direction. So this is a wire with current in it going like this. And I want to find the direction of the magnetic force on this wire. Once again, you point your fingers in the direction of the current, which is up the page. And then you want to uh, point your palm in the direction of the magnetic field. In this case, the magnetic field is coming up at you. So you rotate your palm so that the magnetic field is in the direction of the magnetic field. It faces the direction of the magnetic field. And your finger points in the positive x direction. I mean, your thumb points in the positive x direction. Therefore, the magnetic force goes like that. All right, that's it with case one. Actually, I think I'm going to break this up into uh, three different uh, three different videos corresponding to three different cases, because one video I think is going to be too big at once to download. 
Alright, so that's one video explaining case one.